everyone and welcome back to my channel. This video is my favorite to film because it's my boxy charm. I love boxy charm. It's a subscription box for $21 a month where you get five, yes, five full size makeup items, skincare, things like that. So this is going to be my review of the March box. Stay tuned to see how I got this look using all the products in my boxy charm. The first thing in the box is this Wander Beauty peel off mask. It says it retails for $34. Hello? Purifying and brightening peel off mask. So I just put my hair up so we could do it. It kind of matches my shirt, love that. Smooth and even layer all over face, avoiding eye, 10 to 15 minutes. Peel from the edges, okay, here we go. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Now, I'm not a huge fan of peel off masks. Um, I prefer easy sheet masks. Um, they really are my go-to when it comes to masks. But for the sake of the video, let's put this bad boy on. And we'll try it out. It doesn't feel like there's a lot in here for $35. Like, my bottle feels half empty, if I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like, it legitimately feels half empty. Now that I feel absolutely disgusting and there is slime all over my face i will see you guys in 10 minutes three hours later okay it's been about 10 minutes and i'm already getting some like sagginess here from just talking so i'm gonna go ahead and pull this off ow let's just let's just see how this goes i want to see if i can get it all in one big piece it hurts a little bit now I got it all in one big piece that doesn't usually happen so that's good I'm just gonna rub my hands over it get all the little flakes that might be left I'll say that looking at my reflection right away definitely doesn't look bad at all. Do I think it did anything for my skin? I don't know. Does it say it does? Brightening? Does my skin look brighter? Uh, you guys tell me. I don't know. I don't think so. That's that. And that again cost me $34. Okay, the next thing we got is this Moda Powder and Soft Glow Brush Kit. It does retail for $29. Let's see. Oh, they have a nice candle. I feel like I got that, like, little pieces of that mask everywhere. Okay, they do kind of feel plasticky and cheap, but they're very, very soft. This boy is real... Um, I don't know how to explain it. Flippy, floppy. This one is nice. It feels like it's gonna be so good for powder. It's a good thing we got these because there's something else we got. The next thing we got retails for $45 and it probably is the most exciting thing. It is this color FX face palette. Mine is in the shade light, I guess. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Before we even talk about the products. Love that, love that. Nice big mirror. But look at that, it is like, it is beautiful. It has a big finishing powder, br blush, bronzer, and two highlights, as well as something called a brightener in here. So I'm not sure what that's gonna do, but I'm gonna go ahead and take my big new fluffy brush and dip into this finishing powder. The finishing powder is called Stellar, but I'm not sure if you could tell. It does have, no, you can't tell on camera. It's got little flecks of glitter in it. So I'm not super happy about that, but let's see. Let's just take a look. The brush is beautiful feeling on my face. I did go ahead and put some foundation on off camera. I'm just setting all that down. It does appear to be setting it. Put myself in the eye. I put myself in the eye. The only problem I have with like face palettes like this is the pan is so small. I also didn't put on concealer. 
So please ignore my under eye. What am I thinking? Not gonna lie to you guys, that peel off mask definitely made my face a little red and blotchy in some areas. Even though this powder does have glitter in it, there's not too much on my face, just maybe a little teeny bit. And it's making my skin look nice and healthy and glowy. I really kind of like this. I like this powder a lot, I think. Um, but we will see. Onto bronzer. Take my big puffy bronzer brush here and go in with the bronzer shade Silhouette. And let's see. Oh, the bronzer has some kickback. Oh, I like that. Ooh, 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 ooh. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of bronzers. Huge, huge fan of bronzers. So I love to find a good one. And I really like how this is making my skin look super warm. A lot, a lot, a lot. This might have a Jordan approval here on the bronzer. Still have little pieces of this face mask everywhere. Uh, next, I'm going to take my handy dandy wet n wild stippling brush and go into this blush titled Sublime. This nice pinky fresh blush. It's really pink. Um, it'll be good for the upcoming spring and it is nice at first glance and it's going to have a nice pinky uh, warm color for the perfect for the upcoming summer months. It's gonna help your skin look super, super blushy um, for, I had to tone that down a little bit, that was gonna look crazy, um, but it is beautiful. Uh, it's super pigmented, super, super pink. Um, and with this dewy kind of look I got going on here with the sparkly setting powder, I like it. I like the vibe they're putting out here. Cover FX, I really like this a lot. I think it gave me just a beautiful, beautiful warmth to my skin, a nice fresh, I look awake, I look ready for the day. Now this brightener looks like a highlighter if I've ever seen one. Um, this highlighter is gonna be too dark for me. Definitely th that one's too dark for me, but I'm gonna go in with this long boy they gave me into a little bit of that brightener shade and a little bit of the lighter highlighter. I'm just gonna go back and forth between the two and get that on my face. And that is absolutely stunning. Okay. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Cover FX. Holy moly. I would not use this brush for this again. This brush is really good for potentially wiping away powder that you might be setting your under eye with, like wiping away a bake. I don't have enough control over where I want to put the highlighter at to use this again for highlighter. But holy shit. Oh, hot mama. That is stunning. Oh, what did I do to this brush? Oh my god. We got a boy down. All right, there we go. This has a major stamp of approval from me. I really like this. The next thing we got is this Appeal Liquid Eyeshadow. It is, oh, it has like a little paintbrush. Oh my God. All right, this is exciting. I got to put this on my eyes, but first let me give you some detail. This is Cosmetics Liquid Eyeshadow, Highly Pigmented Liquid Eyeshadow is exactly what your vanity was missing. It is $21 and it's very pigmented. So let me go ahead and throw some base down on this eye. I think I'm just gonna stick with this Cover FX palette and throw some of that bronzer down on my eyelid. I want the real focus to be the liquid eyeshadow. So I don't wanna distract that too much with any kind of big color. Just a nice little crease here, blend it upward. That way I can get that beautiful liquid line, that liquid eyeshadow, not liner, all over my eye. 
just want to see how this blends with a brush. And it is very quick dry because I'm pressing hard. And it's not moving. It's cold. Definitely cold. I'm just going to paint this all over my eyelid. Along my eyes natural crease. And before it sets, since it's so quick drying, I want to get in there and make sure it's not so harsh. So I'm going to go back in with it. But I just want to make sure I'm getting this blended first. Put a nice base down. It blends pretty nice with a brush. The color is definitely still there and it's transferred a little bit to my lower lash, but it is definitely there. Now I'm going to go back in with it and just place it on my actual lid. Definitely not my everyday kind of product. And because it dries so fast, I want to go in and blend this part out right here. But it's not quite letting me. It's still very beautiful, but definitely not my favorite. That's fine. I'm going to take this brightener shade because Lord knows she's beautiful. And I'm going to highlight my brow bone with that. And the inner corner. Oh my god. Mm. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do that other eye off camera and I will be right back. Okay, this is what I was able to come up with. I definitely like how I look. I think it's super cute to have some uh, Tarte mascara on. Uh, yeah, I like this. On to the next one. I always get so sad when we get to the end. But this is the last thing in our box. This Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Monaco. This is... $20. So let's just put this bad boy on. I think it's metallic. It's definitely got some shininess to it. Definitely not an everyday color. I don't like metallic at all. The Ofra formula is wonderful though. And it definitely smells delicious. It smells just like cupcakes. Delicious cupcakes that I want to eat. Thank you everyone for watching this month's BoxyCharm review. I give this box a pretty good score. Um, this Ofra lipstick, not the shade I would like. It's metallic and I'm kind of over liquid lipsticks. I definitely like Bullet Form more. But the Ofra um, formula is amazing. So this is an okay. I'm not going to give it a fail just because I don't like the color. These brushes I already put into my everyday brush collection. Um, I'm going to use this long boy <laughs> for wiping away powder. Um, but this set my foundation great. My skin feels magnificent. Love getting brushes in my subscription boxes. I'm on the fence about this one. Not because I don't like it. I think it gave me a really great look. What I don't really like is the applicator. It's kind of flimsy. feels like little bristles. And it's very hard for me to get in there and get everything correctly and the, the shape I want it, exactly where I want it. So I'm on the fence with this. I'm definitely going to use it more um, to see what might be going on here. Um, it's definitely not bad. I'm also going to give this an okay. So these two just get an okay for me. I don't like peel off masks. I lost the... Oh God. I lost the lid somewhere underneath my dresser, but this is, this is definitely going to go to a friend. I don't really use peel off masks. I'm a sheet mask person, um, but I'm going to find the lid to this and pass this along to someone who will use it. The standalone winner of this is this palette. It's a nice, mm, everything about this I love. Um, this brightener shade in here is fantastic. It gave me such a great, great glow. Highlighted my inner corner, highlighted that brow, bo brow bone. I love this. Um, one of the best palettes I've ever gotten in BoxyCharm. 
that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to have you back here on my channel. Click the link down below if you want to buy some glasses or if you want a Bossy Charm subscription of your own. Um, don't forget to follow me on social media. My handles are also in the subscription box. Comment down below what your favorite product was of this month or in general, if you like BoxyCharm, if you don't, do you like other subscription boxes? Recommend me, guys. I would love to hear from you. But thank you guys for so much for watching. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye.